Welcome back. Are you struggling for space on your Steam Deck? Well, if you got the base model, I'm sure you are. In today's video, we will upgrade the internal storage from 64GB to 256GB NVMe for only $35. Welcome to Team Pandori. Like, subscribe and build! To upgrade, we'll need a few things. An M2 2230 NVMe. An 8GB USB stick or microSD. If you want to use a USB stick, you'll need an OTG cable or a Steam Dock. And to prepare that, we need a computer. If you don't have one handy, borrow your mates. We'll also need a small posi screwdriver and a guitar pick. For the M2 drive, we've listed some in the video description, or you can find one yourself by using a shopping site like Amazon. As we said earlier, we want an M2 2230 drive, and even the base model Steam Deck supports NVMe. Before you purchase, read the reviews, and remember we can return items on Amazon if they don't work. If your name is Dangeresque and love to live on the wild side, eBay is also an option. But while the prices may be cheaper, returning items may be an issue. The item we ended up with is an SK Hynix drive from Yahoo Auctions, and it set us back a total of just under $30. And many of these drives were pulled out of laptops that were upgraded on purchase. Here's the little fella. Before taking out our 64GB drive, we're going to copy over some games to a microSD card. Once upgraded, we can copy them back to the larger internal storage and save bandwidth. So go to our storage, select a game we don't want to lose, then push Y to move over the content. We'll then select our microSD card, and then hit move. If you don't want to get your hands dirty by opening up your Steam Deck, using a large microSD card and playing them off it is a valid solution and you can stop here. Otherwise, let's charge ahead. Now these here are not games, so we'll leave them as is. Then check the microSD to see that all the games are copied over. Shut down the Steam Deck. And then remove the microSD. Shutting it down will ensure that the card is removed safely and no data is corrupted. Now boot it up one more time and go down to settings. Go to system and then factory reset. This will remove all of your personal data and reset the 64GB EMMC as if it came from the factory. And after a few minutes, surprise. We can now shut down the Steam Deck and get our tools. To avoid scratching the screen, we're going to use some bubble wrap. We need to take out eight screws from the back of the deck. The four screws on the outside are slightly longer than the ones in the center. If you look around the deck, there is a line where the two halves come together to form the shell. From one shoulder button, we're going to use the guitar pick to pry apart the shell and slowly go around the case until each side is detached. For the sides, we needed an extra pair of hands. I pried it open slightly, then our assistant pushed in the pick. And at last, we have it open. Before we go any further, we should now protect the circuitry. If any piece of metal touches this board, it could short, breaking your expensive toy. Now there's three more screws, here, here, and here. The third is covered by metallic tape. This probably works as a warranty sticker, but as I said before, we like to live dangerously. We can only pick off so much, so for the rest, we stab it with a screwdriver and lefty Lucy. Now that the shielding is off, we can see the EMMC, which we want to remove, is held in by a screw here. But first we need to disconnect the battery with our fingers. After disconnecting the battery, move the cable up slightly so it's out the way. Now I can replace the EMMC. There's one screw holding it in. When the screw is out, the board will raise. Now at an angle, slowly pull it out. And here it is the 64GB EMMC. 
The metallic tape can act as a heatsink, but as our new chip is slightly larger, this won't easily slide onto it. So we'll need to pull the tape apart and then reapply. Now again, at an angle, we're going to slide it in. Then push it down and give it a screw. We can then reinsert the battery, pull off the rest of this tape, pop the shield back on, and then give it a good screw. Now we can finally put it back together. We now need to download SteamOS. The link is in the description down below, and on this website, click here. If you're happy with whatever's in this box, click this box, and then download deck image. Save this to any place on your computer, provided you have enough space, and then download Banana Etcher. Just click this green thing, and then follow the prompts. Once Etcher is installed, insert the 8GB USB stick or microSD. Flash this file and then select SteamOS deck image. Select the USB stick or microSD as the target and then select one at the bottom right. Click flash and if this pops up, press yes. You'll then need to wait for the computer to write the image. It may take from 5 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of your target medium. Once the image has been written, we're going to go to our drive, right click on the EFI and then eject. We can then remove it safely from our computer. In the case of the USB stick, we need an adapter for it to plug into the Steam Deck. You can use an OTG cable like this, or we could use a dock that has USB ports in it. Let's pop it in here, and then into the USB-C port. While it's in an off state, hold the volume down button while powering on. When we hear a beep, we can let go of the minus button, then it'll show us the boot manager. And from here, simply press the A button. If you're using a micro SD card, the process is very similar. The only difference is we need to push down twice on the D-pad and then A. Give it a minute or so and it'll load up the screen. Select the option Re-image Steam Deck. Proceed. And sit back for around 4 minutes. Once it's finished, you'll get re-imaging complete, then push the button, proceed. And now you have a clean install of SteamOS on your newly upgraded Steam Deck. Well done! Now after logging in and checking our storage settings, we have a total of 222GB free. Nice! And if we insert the microSD card, the one which we copied the games to earlier, we can now move them back over to the internal storage space or even play directly from the card itself. And this gives us a huge amount of space without spending a ton of cash. So far, the Steam Deck has really impressed us, and it's definitely changed the handheld scene forever. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe and bell. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! You forgot to mention that they can now screw the shell back together. I am John Luke. I am your father.